Welcome back everybody, my name is Gnome Lord, and as you guys can see today, we're going to be playing some Skyrim. So this is going to be very heavily modded. Uh, as you can see already graphically, it's very beautiful. I have done a lot of work on the uh, ENB series, working to get it to work and make it all look graphically shiny and everything. So uh, here we are sitting at my home today. This is a, a beautiful little manor. We're just kind of taking a seat on the wall here. I know it's really impractical, especially when you have two uh, chairs right there, but... I figured it'd be a nice little view for you guys to see while we start off the adventure. So, um, today's plan, I guess, is really to get married. I know, sounds weird, right? Uh, I've been playing Skyrim for a while. Uh, not too, too long. Maybe like uh, 30 hours of game time and so far. Oh, here's my son. Pa, you're home. How's it going, hey, boy? Pa, I got you something. I hope you like it. I hope I do too. Thank you. Oh, he gave me some lavender. That's good. We can use that on our potions. So, uh, as you can see, that's my son. He's a good little boy. Hey, Pop, you play a game with us? We adopted him. I don't know who us is. I only have one child right now. I plan to adopt more. We can get up to six children, I believe. It is mod-related, but... Again, anyone who's seen me play Fallout, you guys will know that I'm just a huge fan of mods. So, again, what we're going to be doing today is... Uh, I'm going to be working on getting married. We have Lydia here. Uh, she's not going to be my oh. wife, though. I believe we're going to be marrying one of the ladies from the Companions. I know, I don't even remember her name. I probably shouldn't be. I think it's Ayala the Huntress. Uh, but she is definitely one of my favorite female characters. In the, she's like very strong, very good, independent. She don't need no man, but I don't think she'll mind one. So, I'm going to go propose to her, basically, is the plan. We're going to move in here. Uh, maybe we'll have time to go and look for some more orphan children to adopt. But, uh, let's get to it. I guess the first place we're going to head, as you guys can see, is going to be... Way over here to Riften. So I've never been there before, so we'll pop down a marker, travel to Hartwood Mill, and I'll see you guys there. So we've made it to the mill. Here we are, and uh, it's looking pretty nice out today, if I do say so myself. We got a little, I think the sun is setting, I imagine, over there. Uh, the water is looking pretty. We got all this beautiful grass swaying in the wind. So as you can see on the bottom right of my screen, actually, you won't be able to see this because my face is going to be in the way. I basically have, uh, you know what? I'll do this for the sake of you guys. Give me one second. All right. So as you guys can see in the top right of the screen now, I have a, uh, an apple, a bottle, and a uh, what appears to be a moon and star. And basically, I have now uh, hunger, thirst, and I need a need for sleep. So we're going to go over here. There we go. We're going to take a drink of our water, empty that skin out, and then we'll refill it, bring it with us. We're very hungry right now, so let's see what we have for food. Our food can rot sometimes, so we got to be careful. You don't want to eat old food. We'll eat a piece of bread, two carrots, and an apple. I think that'll be a nice meal. And in terms of tiredness, we're only about halfway there, so we're going to ignore that for now. But I believe this is our direction, and uh, I do have a pretty cool horse I can show off to you guys. It's called Blaze. I did recolor it uh, compared to the normal one you might normally get. We'll cast this cool little spell right here, and we'll see what we can get as a result, huh? <laughs> ah, there we go. Alright, so this is Blaze. He is a uh, he-she. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if the gender was ever specified, but... Uh, I'll refer to her as a she, because I prefer... Uh, I just prefer it that way. She's a she's a better. She seems, she flows more naturally off a tongue. So, she is a very beautiful horse, and... I just... I don't really know what else there is to say about her. She's just good. You can summon her anywhere. You also have a little bit of a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see. Can I shoot this guy? Lydia. Careful. I don't know if I'm actually hitting our target. There we go. That one hit. It's just an assassin. I don't know why this guy's bothering us. Let's go check it out. Get off the horse. Oh, Lydia. Ouch. Alright. Well, she'll be alright, I hope. Let's go see what he's got. He's got some gold, a lockpick. As you guys can see... Oh, Dark Brother. It's, someone sent him to assassinate me, I guess. I don't know why. I'm really not that popular. Well, that's a lie. I guess by now, I've got a little bit of fame. I've only done the Companions oh Guild quest so far, so it's not like I've really progressed that far into the game. I guess we'll just walk for now. We'll bring the horse with us. I'm sure the horse will follow us, yeah. So, my horse is magical, and when I need to fight something, or there's like, you know, a problematic situation where I might die, Riften. Are we going the right way? Oh no, we're not. Jesus Christ, good thing I saw this sign. Okay. So, there's a way for us to use our horse in terms of, uh attacking and you know if we get into combat the horse will sometimes come to our aid in general but 
we also have a little bit of a spell here called Blaze Deployment, which will basically cause the horse to suicide bomb itself on an opponent, which don't feel bad because you can, of course, resummon the horse later. It does not permanently die, which is, uh, again, a great feature, very helpful. I'm sneaking up on this bird here. <laughs> I know they're definitely a uh, very difficult creature to fight, so... Oh, we missed. Come on. There we go. Whew. I almost feel bad. I think that spike is bigger than its body. Oh, Lord. What have I done? Poor magpie. 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 I don't know. You tell me. Is it a magpie or mag magpie? Okay. This might be Riften. This is great. Hold and uh -oh. stand down. If you want to get into Riften, use the north gate. This one's closed. What does that mean? Why? What's going on? My orders are to tell the riffraff to use the north gate. That's it. Uh... Could you let me in anyways if I give you like 25 gold? Keep it. Not worth going to prison over. Alright, I guess it... I don't... I don't know why I'm not allowed to go in that way, but apparently it's important enough that even the guards won't take my bribes. So you can see the water's a little different here, and that's because this is like outdoorsy water, and this is all mucky, gross rifting water flowing in. And again, that's another mod, but I love it. I like to be able to see the differences in the environment, if that makes sense. So I guess we're just going to swim our way on over to the front gate, which is not the ideal way for anyone to do this, but whatever. Alright, I finally found the front entrance of this place, which is really stupid of me, but whatever. We found it, that's all that matters, so... Hold there. What? Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. Visitor's tax? What's the tax for? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? It's a shit city. You're obviously a thief. I kill thieves. I think you'd be a little smarter than that. What the... What the hell? This is obviously a shakedown. Right. Keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Alright, I guess that worked. I thought intimidating would have worked more, but apparently whining at him worked more? I don't know. I guess. Whatever. In we go. Alright, here we are in Riften. Holy shit. Frame rate's dropping a tiny bit, but that's probably because of all the, uh, the flora going on and the amount of... You and Riften looking for trouble? I'm not here for trouble and just passing yeah. through well i got news last thing the black briars need is some stranger i'm knows literally here belong. just to get an amulet that's the only reason i've come who the, the hell are the black briars in their pocket and the thieves guild watching their i don't care Me? i'm mall i watch the streets for them if you need listen no i'm leaving fuck off hey, just don't even get over I'm really getting i want to talk to you i don't care Okay, let's go. We're gonna go find the church. I don't know where that is. I think it might be up here. Okay, perfect. Alright. Finally, the Temple of Mara. Hey, check it out. I found a unique love bug in a jar. This is perfect. Okay. So, uh, is the priest here? There's like a head male, a male head priest or something like that who should sell us the amulet we're looking for. Sir, sapphire chest. I don't have the key for that. Where the hell is he? That's weird. Uh, Still here. sir, are you down his stairs? Made aware of the chaos they so I needed uh, I needed to find a priest, and the problem was that I couldn't find him for whatever reason. So uh, I waited for like 12 hours. He never showed up. So, I uh, decided to come to the bar to eat, sleep, and drink. And apparently, there's like a, uh, a, a thing that happens here that it would, like activates him. So, I wouldn't have seen him anyways. So, this is the guy I needed, to, I needed to find all along. Let's see if we can get him to give me what I need while we're here. So, I wanted to know more about the Temple of Mara. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the... I, I, uh, there we go. all the loving couples in Skyrim. That's what I'm interested in. I could have a wedding at the temple? Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Uh, no, not really. I'd like to, uh, buy an amulet. Here you are. Now, remember, people in Skyrim respond to deeds. 
You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Obviously. Good luck. Mara bless you. Thanks, mate. Okay, so. Uh, do you accept charity? Of course. I'd be right now. The best you could provide is coin. Sure. Need all Thank you. I can promise you that this will be put to good use. Give him some gold, extra gold for the uh, help. All right, so awesome. We got what we came for, so we're gonna uh, take a little drink here. I've got some water skins in my bag, I believe. Interest you in one of our special drinks? And uh, oh shit, I gotta buy a room. Unfortunately, they just won't let me sleep here because yeah. that is not how uh, in makes money. I like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks, mate. I'll show you to your room right this way. Hurry up, then. I can see us again. Let's do it. Come on. I'm right behind you. Show me where I gotta sleep for the night because yeah. uh. What's your problem? Gotta get this over with. Here we go. Probably this one. So we're gonna go ahead and sleep for maybe six hours. Sounds good. Oh God. I just woke up and she was standing over me, asking me if there's anything else I need. Sounds like there's gonna be a storm outside. All right, time to eat some uh, breakfast, I guess. Some apples, a uh, carrot, and a boiled cream treat. Outside we go. Okay, up here should be Ayala in the uh, Companions Guild, so let's go see if she's waiting, uh, or at least hanging around inside. I doubt she'd be waiting for me. All right, for better or worse, I am now creeping around the, uh, the basement looking for Ayala. I believe she's around here. I imagine at least. Oh, there we go. Ella the Huntress. So, next we have to put on our amulet of Mara. Like so. Did I put it on? No. There we go. All right. And then speak to her. I don't know if I should be waking her up, but. Something has shifted in the moons, brother. What is it? I've sensed the blood pulsing a little stronger of late. I had assumed you had as well. I think our potential is on the rise. Persine smiles on us. Let's not question too much. Alrighty then. The more we feed, the greater our prowess will grow. We could perhaps discover even more gifts of Persine. Uh, interested in me, are you? Won't lie, I am. And you? I won't lie, I am. Then it's settled. You and me. Sweet. Awesome. I wish it was that easy in real life. I'd be set. All right, you so should tell the priest we're getting married. Well, you should tell the priest we're getting married. Yeah, well, duh. All right, so we're gonna take some of the food, I guess, while we're here. So I've come back to the temple of Mara, and now we're gonna speak to the man, and hopefully he will let oh, us. Uh... All right, there we go. I'd like to have a wedding at the temple. You wish to be married? It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Thank you. Your wedding will be held tomorrow. From dawn until dusk. Don't be late. You don't want to miss your own wedding. That's true. I don't. Alright, so what time is it game-wise? It's 4 p.m. Let's, uh... We're gonna run over to the bar, stay the night, and then we'll come on in here in the morning and hopefully have a great wedding. Alright, so drink some wine. Gonna have a nice little bite to eat. It's apple pie. And, uh, time to sleep. I guess, uh, 12 hours is a good... 12, 13, 14 hours. So we'll get up at 8 a.m., head on over to our wedding. Whew! Wish me luck. All right, mates, here we go. Heading on over to the church now, and uh, time to get this wedding underway. I'm very excited. Finally gonna get this done. There we go. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learned to love one another. It is from this love that we learn that a life lived alone is There's no, no life, life at all. The next. I think there's a nude Experience woman sitting in my goddamn wedding. What the hell is this? Do you agree to be bound together? Now and forever. Woo! Where the hell did she go? May they protect each of you in your new life. This is the weirdest fucking wedding I've ever had. Hey! Ah, you're home. How's it going, my what boy? A game. a game. What kind of game? What do you want to play? Uh, let's play hide and seek. Okay. You stand right there and 
count to ten. No peeking. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well, I'll just I'll let him get a head start, I guess. I basically this is my home. I came home to try and find my wife. Uh, I don't know where the hell she went off to. She like left. I went back to the companions guild. I didn't find her there. Uh, so maybe I don't know. I assume maybe she'd be around the house somewhere, but I uh, honestly have no idea where she went, which is kind of unfortunate because, ah, uh, you know, we just got married. All right, I don't know where that's, that little boy of mine is going to, but... Oh, Mary, there she is! It doesn't feel like I thought it would, but I'm happy. Where should we live? You could stay with me. Well, you're already in my house, so... Married. But you have kids, right? We should find a home where we can live together. How about my new home? I'll be waiting for you at home, then. You're already here. Still here. Good to see you, dear. Nice, all right, cool. Uh, would you mind cooking something for me? I can. Here, this is fresh. I'll have another one made tomorrow. Awesome. So now we can I'll come home, here. get fresh meals, <clears throat> delicious drinks from our friends. Some of my friends over at the Companions gave me some, oh shit, some of this food's going stale. If you eat stale food, you can get sick and die, so... Let's try to avoid that, but this fresh cooked meal for my wife is plenty. Yes, love? I hope she doesn't get jealous that I'm traveling with Lydia all the time. Well, there we have it, my friends. This has been a, uh, a very successful day, in my opinion. Yes, love? We got married, and uh, we got our wife moved into the house. So now we've got uh, one child. Actually, let me go find that boy. We didn't We didn't find... Uh, we played high. I said we'd play hide and seek, but we didn't actually... There he is. Ma took me to the market. We saw this huge fish. I bet even you couldn't lift it. Shut up. Go do your chores, Blaze. But I don't want to. What the hell? Blaze? Yes, Pa. Thank you, Blaze. Get that shit done, boy. What the? Oh, there you go. All right, yeah, he's sweeping. Okay, so there we have it. It's been a successful day. I guess he's not playing hide and seek with me anymore right now, but this is my bedroom. We'll go ahead and, and actually we'll go outside real quick. Uh, all right, and in classic fashion of mine, we will end this episode in a very similar place to where we began. Have a nice seat, uh, a nice view of the world out there, and uh, there we have it, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today. Getting married was uh, a fun little experience. I know it's not real, but it's uh, it's very beneficial to my long-term gameplay in terms of expanding and building with this house. So having a wife at home will provide us a lot of great options. This one specifically, she can train us to be a better archer. Uh, as you saw, she would make us home-cooked meals, which um, with the food mod is very helpful because then we could come home and get a freshly made food that we can guarantee is not stale. And uh, that's really, you know, she'll take care of the children for us, help take help take care of the children maybe in the next episode we'll go get some more orphan children but i don't know it's a weird goal to really like have but we'll see we'll see so thank you guys all so much for watching today i hope you guys enjoyed it and had as much uh, fun as i did it was a blast for me so until next time my friends uh if you guys enjoy this video feel free to leave me a like or a comment down below as both are very much appreciated and until next time stay safe stay happy